Hey everyone, Scott here with Adventure Further, and I am glad to say we are done building our headquarters. <laughs> it has been a long process, but a great one, and the reward was definitely worth it. We are standing inside the shop, right in the middle of it here, going to show you guys everything that we did and do a complete walk around of it and how happy we are that it's completed and that we actually get to use it. So um, come with me and we'll do a quick walk around of it. Over here starting out, um, we have our staircase leading to upstairs, which we'll get to very shortly, but we have our Adventure Further logo, an LED sign made that we had that wall specifically designed and an outlet put behind the wall just to function our sign. That was something that when Ashley and I were designing it, the minute you walk in our front door, first thing you see your eyes go to is our, is our logo on the wall. That's one thing that we were both super excited and love it. And now at this point, we, we thought we would turn it off, but it never turns off. So we have our Adventure Further logo up top. Um, have our wash sink for the shop area. This is something that I almost wish now that it's already done that I would have put over by the shop more, but it, it's perfectly fine. This is actually right outside our bathroom. So coming over to here, this is our frosted door. Here's our studio, but this is our bathroom. It's all tile, all finished off. And we designed it where there's even a urinal in it for the gentleman to come into. We have a full tile shower right around the corner here. Um, we are still waiting on our glass door, but we have a full tile shower here, finished off 100% with two monstrous uh, shower heads. Those are like 16 inches by 32 each individual one. But uh, a friend of ours did this for us. He did a remarkable job on the tile and definitely couldn't be happier with it. We are planning on down the road, uh, you know, being down here a lot more. And so if we need to take a quick shower from working here and getting all dirty, we can just jump in quick and go, so. Then coming out here, back into the main shop area, we have this wonderful glass garage door that you guys seen in the, in, uh, the opening part of the video. What we tried to accomplish here was we wanted to have a space that was totally secluded from the rest of the actual shop. So if it's loud over here or if it's uh, the doors are open or something like that, then someone can actually be in here and it's dust free and you know, sound wise, it's nice and quiet. So we have the garage door here that it actually will feel like it's part of the shop. And then if you want the garage door open and if you want it closed, it feels like it's a totally closed off room. So it's one of the things that we've seen in someone else's video of their garage tour and fell in love with the idea. So that's what we did. Um, so here I'll open this up now and it just makes it feel like we're walking in and out it is very, very nice. And then you you walk right in and you have our countertop. We had a custom four by seven countertop made along uh, with that where we actually got a game room, ar uh, arcade gr professional air hockey table. It's all black lit and everything else for the kids. They bring their friends down here and my nephews. I got three nephews that love to come down here and hang out and are in love with the Jeeps. So we wanna make sure that all of our family is able to come down here and enjoy the space together. It's not just for us. We want other people to come and enjoy it as well, just because we're uh, family oriented that way and love it. So, um, but coming in this way now, we actually have all of our camera gear organized once and for all. At our house, we had an eight by 12 room that all of our camera gear was stuffed on a little wall and you couldn't charge everything all at once. And so now we have in the cabinets, we have actual power strips for all of our camera gear to be plugged in and all of our batteries are charged when we need them charged. All the charged batteries and extra camera gear is up top. This is the charging one. This is the actual radio tray along with all of our lights. We use Claymore lights. We want those all lit up. And then the bottom one is just extra camera gear. Wouldn't be official without a beverage fridge. So we have that inside here. And then we have two workstations. We designed it where 
if we're down here route planning our next trip, where we're going, what we're doing, we can whip out a huge, huge map. We have a you know, US map that's the size of this. We can you know, start doing route planning. Um, or we actually have our big large screen here that someone can sit here, start planning that stuff out. And I actually have the HDMI cables running from here to the TV. So if there's something that we want everybody to see, we can put it up on the TV and go over that stuff with everybody. But now that we're nice and organized, uh, we're kind of clutter free. We're trying to keep that going. I'm sick of having all of our camping gear at our house, at our shed, wherever else we had our stuff, it was all cluttered. And so now that it's nice and organized, uh, it's so much nicer to maneuver and be able to navigate to the equipment we need. As you can see, there's no store or there's no actual camping gear everywhere. Like most probably people's garages are like ours was our garage was just wall to wall packed full of gear. And so while we were designing this room, Ashley and I said, Hey, you know, it'd be nice. Let's put a storage room in the back where I don't have to look at the shelves. So that being said, that's what this is. So we have a six foot wide door that if we need to roll this, this uh, nice counter that we talked about in and out of the garage door, we're able to wheel that thing in here, get our gear into here, load it onto the table, and then we can roll the table out to the Jeeps. But right now we put all the racking in here. I think there's like 25 or 30 feet of racking all throughout with all of our gear. And yes, this is not the most organized thing, but because it's behind closed doors, it doesn't bother me. And so we do have to organize it. We took it all from home and then put it into here and kind of left it. And this has been the last thing we've actually going to clean up. But uh, having this, man, this just turned into a god. So this is a last minute thought because originally this room was supposed to be 22 by 30. And so we cut off nine feet of the big room to make this storage room so that it's nice and secluded. So definitely, definitely uh, the way to go. And so glad we made that quick switch and, and redesigned it when we did because this is so nice to have back here. And if you guys got questions, just ask in the comments and we'll get you squared away. Total size of the building is roughly 60 by 110 is what the total square footage is without the upstairs. And this here is our laundry. So with having our old shop, we were always having to take baskets and garbage bags of clothes home and then have a pile on the floor. Well, now instead of all that stuff to clutter up our house, now we have a nice brand new washer and dryer here for all of those things. As you can see, the bedding comes back from our trips, whatever trips we're on, our clothes come back. The kids immediately come in here bring their duffel bags in, start laundry, and we don't even have to take the stuff home. It is a godsend. It's so much nicer to not have to be trying to do your laundry at home and all your trips and stuff. So now that's all separate. That is awesome. And then our back behind here is there actually a utility room where all the utilities are. We got extra furnaces. We have zone heating upstairs and downstairs. We can actually, so what that means is like down here, I'm at about 64 degrees. Upstairs, I'm at about 66 degrees. And so the furnace will actually turn on separately when I need it to be done. So, cause I figure come summer, it's probably gonna be hot upstairs. And so when we want the AC to be on up there, it probably doesn't need to be on down here. So we're not wasting the other, uh, you know, part of, I guess being efficient is probably the best way to put it. So at least now we're efficient with using the gas for winter. And as many people know, gas prices are not cheap these days, nor are the electric bills. So that is one thing that turned out to be pretty good. So coming out here now, we'll uh, take a quick peek at the shop area. The shop area, I am so happy because this is one thing that after being at other friends' shops or just working out of our house or at my other shop downtown is that I wanted a place that could be totally isolated and sealed off from, we do so much grinding. We're cutting all the frame brackets off of our Jeeps. We're cutting axle brackets off. We're cutting so much stuff off of these Jeeps to make them perform the way we want to with coilovers and axles and 43s and everything else that I wanted to have this curtain here so that we could bring this curtain around and then it circles back here where 
I can turn on an exhaust fan and no dust goes in any part of the other building. Everything is still dust free. And so the minute I turn on this exhaust fan in the back here, I got a switch that this curtain, we just pull this curtain around and everything just goes right out, right outside. We don't have any, anything to do with here. And then I actually did zone heating out here too. So not only do I have, like if this area is still at 60 degrees, this section over here is uh, drops down to 50 the minute I turn the exhaust fan on, just this heat on this side turns on to reheat this area. So we don't have to worry about it getting cold either. So we got the zone heating down here, which is a, another great uh, perk that we did. I pretty much dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's in this building. I thought of almost everything, I think, but um, it, you know, there's always something that at the end you're gonna think about it. Uh, here's the cameras. We have our camera system set up. We have fully outfitted surveillance system around the property. Um, more for just knowing when people are gonna be here. We do have a lot of expensive stuff on site. And so when Ashley's here alone, if someone walks up to the door, it can send her an alert so that she knows that someone's coming and she's not surprised sitting in her studio um, all by herself here. And sometimes she's here early in the morning, sometimes at night, you just don't know. So we have the security system throughout. Then we have uh, our Snap-on toolbox full of all of our nice tools that we need to do to get these Jeeps to where you are. Like this Jeep here is our 2021 Jeep Gladiator Eco Diesel and we have it tuned in, um, for us just because we love to go hardcore off-roading. You're looking at 43 inch tires on this overland setup. This is our overland camping setup and so we like to be prepared for any situation and so we have an AT habitat, we have value boxes, we have 43s, we have axles, we have skid plates, we have rock sliders, I mean you name it. We did all of this work on here except the install of the actual uh, cap they wouldn't let me do it, otherwise I would have done that too. So, uh, but then we have our fab area, we got our tranny jacks, we got our welders, we got our drill presses, we got our fab table with our evolution saw. That saw, a huge shout out, is awesome. I was gonna do a band saw for cutting all of our metal. No, that thing is wicked. Cold to the touch after you're done cutting, you can touch the metal. I, I don't, it's just awesome. So we have all of our fab stuff over here and the, or now when we build the next Jeep, we'll be ready to go with it. Cause right prior to this, we were doing it at our other shop and it just got really messy, but I'm excited to work here. So let's uh, head on upstairs and check out everything else. All right, so we are upstairs now in our kitchen. We have a full kitchen here set up with refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, microwave. Um, along with this large table for gathering. Um, we, biggest thing we wanted to make sure of is that everybody, family and friends are able to come over and hang out and, and just joke around and have a good time. And so we have the nice large table so that my nephews and stuff can come over too. I got some younger nephews that love to come to the Jeep garage and look at all the Jeeps and sit in them and play in them. So um, this is our kitchen. Love it. We're able to come through and not have to go to the gas station. We don't have to go home. We can stay here, make our meals, and it's like a second home is what we like. So checking out Ashley's studio, this is one of probably the coolest things that we are proud of and had a lot of time thought into this. We are just got uh, all of the sound denny material into it, but this is Ashley's editing room now. Walking into here, and she's got her monitor set up here with having uh, all of her, this is the actual editing one, and then she can actually preview everything on here on the larger TV up top, and then we did the sound deadening on the walls, and we're still working on the surround sound, isn't done yet. Uh, that's gonna be done this coming week here. Super pumped for that to get done, but then she should have a really good space to make some really cool videos for you guys. We are in the learning process of this, by no means are we pros. We are working to be better. We enjoy doing this. This is a total hobby for us. This is not what we do full time. Um, we are self-employed, have other businesses that uh, I have to manage and Ashley more so takes care of the YouTube and the Instagram and Facebook stuff. But this is just something that we really, really enjoy to do. And so we're trying to get better for you guys. So stay tuned for all the other cool videos that are coming up. We got New Mexico video coming up. We have Alaska video coming up. And Ashley's only one person, so bear with us that she can't just pound them out and pound them out. 
You got two, two girls at home, obviously, that she has to take care of as a stay-at-home mom as well as the stuff she's doing for you guys. So um, be patient, but stay tuned. So and then over to here, we actually have my office, something I've wanted for a long time. I Granted, like I said, I'm self-employed, but one of the things that I haven't really had was my own personal office that is actually mine. So this was a dream come true, along with this entire building was a dream come true. Um, after all the years of hard work have came to light, this is obviously my desk. I got a nice desk here with an absolute gorgeous view. I wanted to be able to sit here, look out my windows, look at the deer, look at the turkey, look at all the wildlife that's coming through here. Um, there's a nice woods in the background that the deer come out of. So having this uh, view coming out of here is something that I envisioned when I was building this. I was like, I want my office in that corner. So um, it's a very nice, spacious office. I got my nice, two comfortable chairs. I even got my nice sitting couch slash napping couch. Uh, if I get a long day of work or something like that, I can come over and just rest my eyes, watch TV. One of the other neat things is that Ashley, from her, from her studio, can actually send the video to this TV while I'm sitting here in my desk and I can preview the video before you guys even see it. So that's one of the really neat things that we did. I ran HDMI cables through the walls, through the floors, through the ceiling, just so that we could do some cool stuff like that. I actually did the same exact thing in the room next door, so we'll show you that now. And that uh, is right next door here. So this is the game room slash conference room. The kids use it to do all of their games. They have all their game systems here where they have surround sound that's getting hooked up yet, but they could sit here with the, my nephews have came over a few times and they'll play Mario Kart for hours. And so this is our conference area where we can have people over, sit and chat, just have a good conversation. We got the fridge right outside if we need some beverages and just hang out. So one of the things that we designed this spot for was that even over in the windows, I can walk over to the windows, check what the guys are doing. So we have tons of natural light in here from outside, plus there's light from the workshop area. And outside here, you can't see it yet, but if you come this way, we actually, because I wanted to stay clutter free as much as possible, when you were downstairs, you didn't see a ton of Jeep parts. Like where are all your Jeep parts and tires and everything else. I put uh, four storage containers behind the building that are completely full of Jeep tops, Jeep tires, Jeep parts. Um, you name it, all the parts that we've bought throughout the years for all of our Jeeps. We have a lot of that storage there so that I didn't have to make it all messy and full of uh, Jeep parts and racking and stuff on the inside of the building. We wanted to keep it as clean and streamlined as possible. So that was a really good add on. And then on top of it, we did the concrete all the way around the building so that I can drive around the back side of the building to come into the workshop area where you're seeing the overhead door. And so my garage door comes right out back to the, all this concrete back there. And then we're talking about doing like a patio lounge area on top of the storage containers. So that's a spring project. And when we do that, we'll get you a sneak peek of that, but that's gonna be a pretty cool area just to come out and hang out in the summer, do some cookouts and stuff like that with some family and friends. So stay tuned for that one. All right, and now out here, you guys can see from up tall, you guys can actually see the rest of the shop area. So the ceilings here are 20 feet tall and the lower level is about 10 feet. And so we got about nine feet up top here. But the best thing is now you guys can see all the stuff from down below. You can see all the Jeeps. And if somebody's working, uh, I can actually come over here from the side and talk to one of the guys and make sure that we're on the same page if we're doing a Jeep build or whatever kind of build we're doing on some rigs, I can walk over here and talk. But it's very, it's nice to have that capability and being up high to do that stuff. So um, I definitely appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys please like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos to come. Ashley's really hard at work trying to get all these other videos. We have at the time more content than time to get them done. And so please be patient, but we really appreciate it from all four of us if you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in the next video.